Hey everyone, Cadams Tech here. So in today's video, I want to discuss what is a front-end software engineer. But first, if you're new to my channel, my name is Christopher Adams. I am a senior full-stack software engineer in the Tampa area. My goal for this video is to provide you with some useful information. And if you feel like you've gotten anything out of it, please remember, like, subscribe, and share with anyone that you know is interested in learning development. Okay, so what is a front-end software engineer, front-end engineer, or front-end developer? Well, the front-end, I like to think about it as what the user sees when they're viewing a application. This could be a web application, this could be a mobile application, but it's the UI, it's what the user sees. So, this usually consists of HTML, which stands for Hypertext Markup Language. This is essentially the structure of the web page. It's how the browser interprets the language to be able to put certain sections of the page together. And then there is CSS, which stands for Cascading Style Sheets. I like to think of this as the aesthetic, the colors, the typography, the positioning and laying out where you want things on a page, the sizing, um, and now there's animations. So if you hover over some text, have it turn a different color, have it bounce, um, and things of that nature. And lastly, I like to think of front-end engineering, front-end development as incorporating programming language. And the programming language of choice these days is JavaScript. So if you use JavaScript on the front-end, you are officially a developer. If you just know HTML and CSS, then you're still in the design territory of things. You're mostly considered a front-end designer. But if you start getting into the programming, that's where you become a developer, an engineer. So if you incorporate HTML, CSS, and some JavaScript programming, you are considered a front-end engineer, front-end developer. Now, what would you use JavaScript programming for on the front-end? You would use it for things like form submission, validation. So say you're filling out a form for your address, and, the, and then you click press the submit button. Some errors happen. Some red things appear on the page. Well, that's the form validation. And you use JavaScript programming to... Um, validate these things. So picture a form, first name, last name, email address, and you just put in last name and email address, and then you hit the submit button. What happens? Well, the programming language will do something like this. Document.getElementById, first name, and then you say first name dot value. If it equals an empty string, that means there is nothing supplied within the form input. So you can then throw an error, and then you can display that to the page to the user. So these are tasks that front-end software engineers and front-end developers um, typically tackle. Once again, if all you know is HTML and CSS, you're more in the design territory of things. To cross over into the developer path and engineer path, you need to get into the programming. You need to get down to the nuts and bolts, the nitty gritty. Let's do some validation. Let's do some stuff with the form data, things like that. Another thing, which I should throw into this video because it is related to the front end. So we discussed designers, HTML, CSS. You can use some mock-up applications like Figma where you can mock up what the design should look like or Illustrator inside of Adobe or Sketch. These are all similar. They have some overlap, but it allows you to essentially mock up what the web application or the mobile application should look like. And then there is the developer engineer side, which I discussed. You want to use HTML, CSS, get into some JavaScript programming, and other things. You can get into some frameworks like React, Angular, Vue, different things like that. But really, to be considered an engineer, you just need the HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Now, there's one other territory, which is UX. This stands for user experience. This is more concerned with how things should behave on a page, how the flow of the application should be in order to improve the user's experience. So if you click on a button, what should happen next? Should it go to another page? Should you have to go to another page and then click three more buttons to go deeper into where you need to go? Is this good UX? So you need to consider what would be the most intuitive path for most users to take when they're doing something in this application. That's what UX has to do. And there are entire job roles for UX. There's entire job roles for web design. And there's entire job roles for being a front-end engineer. So I hope this helps you distinguish between some of these things. And if you have any specific questions, feel free to drop them down below and I'll be more than happy to answer them. As a matter of fact, every single comment on my YouTube channel that has been asked, I've responded to. So remember, if you got any value out of this video, 
Like and subscribe. Share with anyone that you know is interested in learning development. I have a lot more content coming out soon. So I appreciate it. See you all later.